one. For this exercise, you're going to start laying on your left side. You want a foam roller underneath your right foot, and your left knee is going to stay bent up. To start, you want to make sure that you're in line, so your shoulder to hip and foot are all in one straight line. Okay, you're going to start by making sure that you're tucked back in your, in your hips, so everything kind of rolls underneath, your lower back stays rounded back. Okay, you're going to make sure that your top hip stays through. Okay, and from there, you're going to reach your right leg as long as you can, so you're trying to roll the roller away from you. As you do that, you should feel your left side kind of crunch up, creates a little tunnel between you and the ground. It's like I got my hand under your left side, I'm trying to scoop you up off the ground. Now as you do that, as long as you keep that tuck in your hips, you should feel your right glute start to kick in at that spot, okay? You're gonna maintain the reach, maintain the tuck, maintain the crunch, a lot going on here, and you're going to slowly raise your right foot off the roller about an inch, okay? As you do that, that right glute should really kick in. You don't want anything in your back helping you lift up off the roller. The last key here is that you want to have your feet flared towards the ceiling, okay? And as you do that, that'll help you facilitate the right glute. Once you get there, you're gonna hold that position, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, making sure that you get every ounce of air out with each breath. After three to five breaths, relax back down, reset, and repeat.